We've got about 18 days till Christmas, but still some headwinds to weather before we can close the books on the year. There's also that sequel to that big OPEC meeting, this time with non-members, also that Fed rate hike. Equity analyst Victor Felix from AB Capital Securities joins us now to try and make sense of this recent state spate of volatility. Hi, Victor. Let's start off with that Fed hike. And I've been asking every analyst this. Do you think markets have fully priced this in or should investors brace themselves for another round? Uh, I think we're going to be in a steady downtrend until December 13. Uh, we have been pricing it in since last month. Uh, in Bloomberg, the likelihood of a rate hike is um, it's almost certain. It's, it's, uh, it actually it is, it is certain at 100%. Uh, that said, I think we're, well, we're more well prepared than last year. Uh, so assuming we'll take the same trajectory as we did uh, early this year, we should be bottoming out January or Feb. All right. Do you want to call a bottom? <laughs> Yeah. Um, maybe, well, psychologically, it's 6084, the same bottom we hit la uh, this year. So maybe a little bit higher than that, 62. All right, let's bring it back home, Victor. Um, do you think the BSP will be moving to normalize rates after November inflation clocked in the fastest in 21 months? That was a 2.5%. Yeah, the inflation data is uh, still fresh, so the market has yet to digest it. Um, I think by the trend, it is going uh, higher. Uh, that said, the BSP, while it does take cues from the U.S. Fed, uh, I think they're going to stay pat this, uh, at least until the end of this year. Uh, moving into the first quarter, we'll see the inflation data then, and then uh, I think they'll act accordingly. But in the short term, I think they'll stay, they'll stay pat. What about this correlation with the higher or potentially higher oil prices? I mean, we know that OPEC has... Uh, agreed to that landmark deal enforcement yet to be seen and they are again meeting a uh, non-members over the week and this is the first time since 2002 so this could be a little bit of a game changer again how do you think this will tie in with inflation also with the weaker peso well um, I think higher oil prices that would be a catalyst in our market um, that's a good thing but it remains to be seen whether or not these member nations can stick to their covenants uh, historically, when there's a production agree uh, production cut agreement and prices already uh, start to move up, uh, some countries would uh, you know reverse or wouldn't stick to their covenants. Um, so it remains to be seen. What does surprise me is that non-member Russia, uh, the most stubborn of uh, of the of the non-members, they agreed to a 300,000 uh, barrel production cut. So I think that's that's a good sign. Yeah. All right, lastly, before we let you go, can we still hold out for a Santa Claus rally before closing the books on 2016? Uh, I'm willing to bet against it. Uh, <laughs> same thing last year, we didn't see one. This year, I don't think so either. Foreign flows, the selling pressure from foreign investors is just too high. Uh, for the month of November alone, we saw 18 billion in outflows. And uh, from our peak in mid-August of positive 27 billion, we're around negative 23 billion. And in a five year span, you're only looking at foreign investors being net positive by around 8 billion. So yeah, foreign, foreign investors have been pulling out and foreign outflows, outflows have been accelerating. So the pressure is okay. it, it's, it's still there. What about um, maybe pushing that rally later on in the year, maybe post Three Kings in January? Yeah, um, again, when, after we do bottom out, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of consolidation in the start of the second quarter, and then maybe we'll see a rally uh, end of second to start of third quarter. All right, very sobering insights. Thank you very much, Victor Felix, equity analyst over at AB Capital Securities.